Friends, thanks for clicking the today's Red D Rose report. I was in a card game last night, lost my shirt. Hey, uh, got some interesting stuff here. Part of the reason why I couldn't figure this out why Lesnar returned the other day, but part of the reason you know he returned and Undertaker, of course, is working uh, next week. Well, over in um, Europe, I believe. Uh, is because CM Punk won't be returning anytime soon and WWE needs star power for TV. Uh, reportedly, uh, well, before last Monday, let's say, WWE had, uh, you know, plans for Punk to come out on Raw and whine about losing WrestleMania 29 They'll walk out of the company in the storyline. Well, this was held off from post-WrestleMania Raw because officials felt that Punk would uh, get a bigger reaction from the crowd uh, from the post-WrestleMania crowd. Another reason it was held off because Punk was, uh, wasn't was happy with the verbiage, I guess, they uh, wanted him to use and didn't want to come off as a whiner. Now, catch this. In a few weeks back, Punk had a, did have a big blow-up, I guess, with WWE Creative and wanted to give his notice to the company. And he went and uh, worked it out with the top officials. And at that time, they decided Punk wouldn't be working live events anymore, just TV and WrestleMania you know, in WrestleMania 29. Between the uh, backstage problems and the severity tearing uh, knee ligaments uh, from uh, at WrestleMania, Punk was written off TV this past Monday at Raw, but uh, Punk will be uh, fine once he rests up and lets his knee heal, and right now there's no set time for Punk to return, but word is he may not be back till SummerSlam. And if he had that little you know, blow up about verbiage and all that stuff. Hey, it sounds like he's a whiner to me. They may have problems with him in the future. Or now. Alright, it will be a few months uh, before we get the official buy rate of WrestleMania 29, but F4W Online. Now, one thing I mentioned, if you look back on some post WrestleMania shows I did, I was kind of surprised that they're going to do over a million. I just, I mean, I, I just seen that coming. Not only because of the uh, price increase or the price, it just wasn't there. Just, I don't know. Anyway, there will be a, of course you get rematches you know, after a while. And Anyway, uh, it's going to be a few months before we know the official uh, thing, but F4W Online reports that uh, three different sources this past week stated that uh, it was very clear the estimates don't look good. N number one uh, being floated around was downright shocking, and WWE's own internal projects, uh, projections uh, were lower substantially in the final week before the pay-per-view based on Elimination Chamber buys uh, coming in at a lower than expected. Uh, see, that's one of the main things that uh, TNA has a problem with, is they've got this one group of wrestlers that they all, you know, interact or interchange, intermingle with, and to, now we're going to have a match between these, these, this guy and this guy. Now next time be this guy, and then that guy, and this, then these two guys. And since there's a, a lot of different angles you can go, but we're seeing the same thing over and over. But with TNA, you see uh, heel and face turn just every week, and you don't. Uh, you know, who the heck you're even rooting for anymore? WWE's got a little more, you know, uh, a little better writing, and uh, but it's still it's this, uh, not, not too good. But anyway, the original plans for Triple H and Brock uh, had them revisiting the feud later this year. Well, not doing a uh, third, you know, match of Extreme Rules. Uh, the planned angle with The Rock and Lesnar for the post WrestleMania Raw that uh, didn't happen. Uh, would have built it to a SummerSlam match. Well, not a WrestleMania 30 match that was previously reported. Um, they like, there's like four main pay-per-views they like to get the pop rating for. Anyway, regarding The Rock, so they don't know really what they're, what they're up to on that. Regarding The Rock, uh, there's a lot of concern or just maybe paranoia that among with, uh, people within, uh, within WWE, thinks that he may never wrestle again for them. I mean, it's, uh, you know, he, things happen, and maybe he would rather, uh, of course, he's a lot less wear and tear on making movies and a lot more money. So, I don't know. 
man, it's, uh, I mean, he, he gives us our money's worth, Rock does, on, uh, you know, wrestling and stuff, but, well, it's going to tear up his body. Entertainment websites are reporting that Fast and Furious 7 will be uh, released in July 11th, uh, 2014, and there's speculation that Rock will have some problems filming the, uh, the movie due to his obligations with Hercules. Might be going to do a big uh, promo on that. Uh, Undertaker reportedly uh, underwent minor knee surgery just a few weeks before WrestleMania 29 in a match against uh, Punk. And the operation just described as a simple cleanup. Get little bone chips and spurs and stuff out of there where you can move around and not get a knee locked up or something. Uh, WWE DVD News reports that the following matches they're confirmed for uh, War Games DVD coming out in June. It's the Ultimate Jeopardy Steel Cage match from ECW Cyber Slam 1999. And I thought Cyber Slam was maybe their last uh, uh, pay per view. I can't remember. Anyway, the Dudleys of Mustafa taking on New Jack, Axel Rotten, Balls, Mahoney. War Games from uh, WCW Fall Brawl in 1997's Kevin Dash, Waltman, uh, Conan, and Buff Bag Bagwell, pardon me. Versus Ric Flair, Chris Benoit, uh, Kurt Henning, Steve Mongo McMichaels. And I'm reading this right. They're going to have Chris Benoit match on DVD, WWE. I just now, like I say, I just read this. Surely it won't blur him out, will they? Or not show Well, I don't, I don't know. We'll find out, huh? Hmm. WWE changed plans for... Uh, a proposed Booker T heel turn, and now I guess it's planned for Teddy Long to turn. Teddy's expected to become a new heel general manager of SmackDown. And WWE's confirmed Triple H to be on uh, Monday's Raw to answer Brock's uh, challenge for Extreme Rules. Brock tweeted the following about, fat, about uh, fat, Fast 6 last night. He said, I was just watching private screening Fast and Furious 6, epic, he says. Very proud of my uh, director, Justin Lin. Uh, real pleasure uh, bringing the characters of Hobbs uh, to life, an old school gunslinger who loves saying the word some bitch. <laughs> anyway, uh, WWE is returning to Knoxville, Tennessee for SmackDown November 19th. Pre sale uh, is going on, and the password is Knoxville, in case you want to get a little closer seat. Hopefully that works. Uh, after uh, last night's SmackDown taping uh, ended in Knoxville, The Shield came out, attacked Randy Orton. Let me see if that ends the same way. Uh, this led to Triple H coming down and wearing a cast on his arm and uh, making the save. Baby, says, uh, baby faces hit the finishers on The Shield in the show. Apparently, it wasn't no steel chair that caused the DQ. Either that or they didn't put it on there. And as noted, uh, just about done. Hang on. <clears throat> noted earlier, Triple H... Uh, Triple H underwent an MRI on his wrist Monday and had a picture of it uh, on the web. WWE's website posted an update uh, reporting Triple H suffered a contusion and carpal spring uh, to his left wrist. Well, if that's all he got out of that, he's lucky. Triple H uh, will have to wear a splint uh, for the next few weeks. WWE's teasing that Triple H may not be able to perform in the steel cage at Extreme Rules against Brock. Uh, WWE says Dr. Michael Sampson added that Triple H may not be able to perform at uh, Extreme Rules, but will be able to train. They said teasing, so don't, pay, don't put too much into that. WWE taped the following matches in Knoxville last night to air on uh, the main event. 11-man battle royal to determine number one uh, contendership for the IC title. That's Gabriel, Kali, Riley, uh, Morella. McIntyre, Uzo's, uh, Mahal, Slater, Primo, Tatsu. Wade Barrett's going to be defending. Uh, uh, well, Wade will defend it. Whoever wins the Royal Rumble. WWE taped following matches for Saturday Slam. Uh, Jay Uzo taking on Darren Young. Uh, the Uzos taking on Young and O'Neill. And a dark match uh, saw Alicia Fox defeat Oksana. Didn't know she was still there. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.